Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and in today's video, we'll understand a very powerful command line network analyzer tool or uh, technically a packet sniffer tool called TCP dump. It is a Linux tool, but there is a version uh, of TCP dump for Windows that is called WinDump. But today in this video, I'm going to use Kali Linux, which have uh, TCP dump installed by default. Now for those of you who are using a different version of Linux other than Kali Linux and you do not have uh, TCP dump installed on your computer, you can type in this command that sudo uh, apt get install TCP dump. Type in this command in your bash prompt and press enter and that will install TCP dump on your computer. Alright, so with that said, let's begin today's video. TCP dump, as I said, is a packet sniffing tool. This is mostly used by the penetration tester to watch the traffic going through or moving through the network and analyze the data. It is also used by security administrator to look if there's any unwanted or suspicious activity that is going on in the network. It's a very powerful tool. Using this tool you can check each and every packet that is going to and from a computer to another computer. So let's go ahead and understand how to use this tool. Now the syntax is you type in TCP dump and then you're given these options. These are optional even if you do not give any option just typing in TCP dump pressing enter will start the sniffer uh, but this requires administrator privilege so if you do, are not administrator or if you are not logged in as an administrator you need to type in sudo and then give a space and then type in tcp dump it will ask you, uh, you for your administrator password and then it will start sniffing now we'll look into the option options that are available uh, the first option is dash n option it will display only numbers and not names of machines. I think most of the times you do not require uh, the name of the computer to be displayed. Just the IP address will suffice the purpose. So that is where you use dash n option. Uh, dash double n is also used to display number for not only machines but also ports. So the port number and the IP address of the machine will be displayed instead of their original name. Uh, dash i option is used for giving a particular interface to sniff on for example if you are having a ethernet you are connected by ethernet then you type in your ethernet interface that's usually eth0 if you are on wireless network then you make you can give wlan0 dash v will display more details about this particular packet like the ttl ip id total length of packet and etc and you can also increment the verbosity by uh, giving dash vv double v will increase the verb verbosity and triple v will further increase the verbosity of the um, packet sniffing dash w is used for dumping the password to a particular file dash w and followed by a file name will dump all the password all the packets that you're sniffing to a particular file name and dash r will read the packets from a file so after you uh, dump a packet to a file you can um, read this file by using dash r option dash small x will print the data packet or the entire packet in hexadecimal dash capital x will print in hexadecimal as well as in ascii all right and dash a will print just in ascii characters now lastly dash s small s option is for uh, snapping the uh, packet uh, the default is 68 bytes um, if the packet is larger than 68 bytes you can uh, you can specify the amount of bytes that uh, it will snap to dash s and thousand will snap the packet to thousand byte now very important if you type in dash n and give a space and then type in zero it will grab the entire packet all right so that is the options that we have now let's look into the protocol there are several protocols that you can also use for ethernet you can type in ether protocol ip ipv for ipv4 just typing ip 
then ipv6 are the default protocol is tcp and next up is the type now this is a type of scanning that you are going to perform so the type you can specify host and then give the ip address now that will run the sniffer uh, and sniff packets to and from that particular host if you type in net and give the ip address it will sniff packets to and from that particular network you can also specify a particular port from which you want to um, sniff the packet port 80 will sniff packets to and from that port only you can also specify a port range so port range and then giving like 20 to 30 or 20 to 25 will sniff packets from that you can also type in src that is for source and then give an ip address so it in that case it will only sniff packets that is originated from this source and similarly for destination dst that will sniff packets that is going to this particular destination all right so this is very very important and also you can create an expressions you can use logical expression like and or or to combine certain functionality this is for the first example if we type in tcp dump dash n n for no names for ports and machines dash x is for printing ascii as well as hex dash s equals s space zero is to for grabbing the entire packet tcp is the protocol that we are going to use we are using the logical operation and and then destination is 192.168.0.0 now this means grab only tcb packets that is going to the destination 192.168.0.101 all right so enough of theory i know it's kind of a little difficult to understand it by the syntax until unless we do a live demonstration so let us jump right in and start the demonstration so that it will be absolutely clear to you how we can use tcp dump so let me open up the bash prompt here uh, before I begin this demonstration, a quick uh, overview of the setup. Uh, this is my Kali Linux box. This is my Windows 7 box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start the uh, Netcat listener on Windows uh, box and I'm going to send packet from my Kali Linux machine to this and while the TCP dump is running so that we can analyze what are the packets that are uh, sending and how TCP dump uh, is able to sniff that particular packet and display it for us. All right, so let me quickly start the netcat listener on this computer. So let me go to the tools directory in my computer where I have the netcat and the IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.101. All right, so let me start the netcat listener and on port 4444. All right, so listener has started. I'm back on my Kali Linux machine and I'm going to establish a connection to netcat n. And the host that I'm going to give is 192.168.0.101. Port is four 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 four. I'm sorry. Four four. All right. So the connection is established. To double check it, type in AAA and press enter. As you can see, it has received the packet. The listener has received the packet. Now let me open up another terminal and start TCP dump. So type in TCP dump dash x for printing both ASCII as well as Hex, hexadecimal characters dash n for no names uh, only IP address only numbers um, dash s zero for grabbing the entire packet instead of just the default 68 bytes and then let me give the destination so destination is our windows machine 192.168.0.101 so this will grab only the packet that are going to this particular machine that is our windows machine and the port that i've given is 4444 right press enter so the now tcp dump has started listening now let me again send a packet with aaa written and press enter 
as you can see it has grabbed a particular this particular packet and here also we have uh, four A's that we have sent from our Kali machine now a quick analysis that you can see is here is the timestamp uh, I'm sorry here's the timestamp that it was sent the IP protocol this is the IP address of the source and this is the IP address of the destination port as well so as you can see a lot of information is available here this is the entire packet in hexadecimal all right uh, this particular one digit here represent 4 bit of uh, packet length okay so this entire 4 digit represents total of 16 bit now this is a TCP packet uh, TCP IP packet so initially we have this particular uh, we start with the uh, IP header now if you go to the internet and the IP v4 header format you will see this is the ipv4 header format the first up is the version so here it says if you can read this ipv4 uh, if it has a version of 4 that means it's a ipv4 packet so as you can see we have the first digit uh, is 4 the first um, 4 bit is marked as 4 then the next is the uh, internet header length which is of again of 4 bits so as you can see there is a lot of information you can you can um, go through this particular information of wikipedia about the ip header format and ip header entire packet format and also you can after ip header ip header is of 160 bit after that is the tcp packet the entire packet is tcp which is the this one all right tcp packet so as you can if you I'll just show one more thing to you as you can see the source IP address is at this is the entire is 32 bit and then again 32 bit so 64 bit and then 32 one more 32 so 64 and then again 32 all right so let us go to a packet so this is 32 bit now this four chunks are 64 bit plus 32 bit so here you can see c0 a8 if you see here after uh, 64 and 32 bit we have the source ip address so it says c0 a8 let me start up a calculator go to the calculator and type in c it is c0 all right c0 in hexadecimal is equivalent to 192 in uh, decimal so 192 if you can remember is the starting of our IP address 192 and a8 should be 168 right in hexadecimal let's see a8 it's 168 so that is our IP address right here the uh, source IP address and this must be the destination IP address uh, I'm sorry this must be the destination IP address here is our data that we have 414141 that is 4 A's all right so you need to learn and go through this particular uh, packet format or IPv header format and TCP packets to completely understand the entire packet all right that is it for today I hope this video was useful to you now this using TCP you can also sniff username and password that are on port 80 that uses port 80 uh, without the SSL security that is without HTTPS if you have any other website that does not use HTTPS and if you type in your name and password and if sniffer is running it will grab the username and password in fact let me just quickly demo that out too okay so that it will be and let me just click type in TCP print hexadecimal no means no port grab the entire length uh, host let me get the host 192.168.0.101 and port let me specify the port 80 80 is for http traffic or right, start the sniffer sniffer has started let me quickly go to the internet explorer so as you can see this is the HTTP website not HTTPS so if I type in 
a password like SP, username SPS tag password is uh, demo capital demo and press login now let me go back to the sniffer as you can see packets have been it has started capturing packets uh, so here we will find a particular password in plain text uh, username and password let me start the if I go for the string SPS as you can see username is SPS tech and password is capital demo so it has sniffed and it has displayed our username and password that is going through HTTP on port 80 so you can imagine it is a very powerful tool so that is it for today thank you for watching this video if you like this video kindly press the like button if you have any comment and suggestion please type in your comment on the, in the comment box and thank you for watching this i'll see you next time